Welcome to day 15 of Mindfulness Towards Successful Living. Please take a seat and go ahead and start with a couple of calming breaths. And as you continue to breathe gently, I'd like you to consider a couple of things which are very interesting to me in regards to meditation and mindfulness training particularly. You hear many times where there's a talk of coming to a realization of there is no self or to eliminate yourself from ego or to put the ego down and become one with consciousness. And for sure, there are plenty of elements that lead people to have those types of conversations. In many instances, what it relates to is a person coming to an understanding where they recognize that their awareness, the things that they're observing in their experience, are purely experiential. We tend to think we're authoring our thoughts every moment. We really are not the author of our thoughts. When we talk about uh, the monkey mind, for example, and how crazy thoughts just come to us and you didn't instigate that thought, right? If you did instigate that weird thought that you had, you would have had to think about having the thought. Does that make sense? So it's a position of letting your ego go, becoming selfless in that way, to where you recognize that I am simply observing my experiences here on this planet but that I'm not really the one that's creating many of these thoughts. So for today's practice, what I'd like you to consider is we're going to practice with intentionally increasing our experience and observation of awareness. And we want to do it in awareness to all of our sensory elements. So as you're sitting and uh, gently breathing, let's begin. Let's focus in on our breath with a nice deep breath in and focus in the, from the instigation of that inhale all the way through the exhale and tune in, really tune in to your awareness of that breath, the experience of you breathing in the air. Eyes gently close and see if anything comes to your awareness in your visual field. And as you continue to breathe gently, again, if you find yourself lost in thought, just begin again and come back and join in where we are, which is focusing on our visual field with our eyes closed. Go ahead and open your eyes now. Try to be observing from your visual field completely. Open your eyes in a large gaze. Eyes wide open. And just take a moment and with curiosity, be curious about all the things that your eyes are taking in right now in this moment. Differences in color. The color palette may be different in all the different items that you might be viewing. Depth of field. Things that might be closer and then farther away. Get very curious. Isn't it incredible that as light passes through our eyeballs and through the retina, an electrical signal is sent to our brain and to all of these millions of receptor cells that we have in our eyes, sending these electrical signals to our brain, and then our brain is creating and interpreting this, the images that we see. Just take a moment and really be with your visual field. A 
observe any sensations that may come up there, any thoughts that might come to it. Just be in your visual field right now. Just soak it all up. And try to do it from a space of being complete, where you're completely enthralled. Your attention is completely focused on your visual field. Because we want to expand our consciousness awareness into these sensory elements. Okay, let's close our eyes. Continue to breathe gently. And now auditorily, let's do this and hone your focus completely. Tune it right in to the sounds that you're hearing as you're sitting in this moment of experience in your life. What are the different sounds that you're hearing? Get very inquisitive. Really focus deeply. Of course, you hear my voice, but there are plenty of other sounds that you're hearing, which most of the time get blocked out because we're being mindless in our experience. But as we are being mindful of our auditory sensory elements right now, notice what you can actually hear. Things close to you, things far away, things going on maybe outside. Do you hear your breath? Maybe a low hum of a computer drive. Whatever it might be. Open your awareness as you observe sounds in this moment. Great. Okay, with our eyes closed, breathe in gently. Focus in on your sounds and hearing and slowly open your eyes and see if you can recognize that you now hear anything differently than what you were just hearing with your eyes closed. And contrast the difference if there is one. As you tune into your hearing with your eyes open, does that make a difference? Do you hear more? Do you hear less? Great. Now let's close our eyes. Continue to bring it back with our focus to our breath gently. A full attention on a complete inhalation and exhalation here in... Now let's tune in to our feeling senses in our body. The kinesthetic sensory elements that in this moment of observation that we can tune into. So what does it feel like where you're sitting on the chair or on your bed or on a mat or the floor or whatever you're wherever you're sitting? What feelings do you have where your legs connect, where it touches? Do you feel anything on your arms? Maybe your arms are resting on the chair, and or maybe they're resting in your lap. Notice the feeling and the sensations of the feelings, the pressures on your skin. The feeling of gravity as, it, as you're sitting in your chair. Do you recognize the gravity? If it wasn't for that, we'd be floating, which would create a totally different feeling, right? 
tune into this moment, all the experience of kinesthetic sensory input that your body is receiving. Do you feel your feet on the floor? Do you feel the air as it passes by your nostrils or through your mouth? What interesting feelings are you able to pick up on as you sit still and quiet? And now, in the last couple of minutes of this session, let's open our eyes and, again, tune into what we're feeling on our body. Any sensations that might come to your observance as you're sitting, as you're breathing, maybe a breeze that's blowing across your skin. Maybe your socks on your feet, maybe you feel that, or the shirt that you're wearing and you can feel the cloth against your skin. Tune in to the kinesthetic sensory elements and contrast it. Is it different with your eyes open? Is it more than it was with your eyes closed? Is it less than it was with your eyes closed? Because maybe you have more distractions and more sensory elements coming to you. Those are very curious things to think about. And very good observations to make as we hone our attention skill. Okay. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. And now with our eyes closed, let's tune into a little breathing. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And are there any other elements that you're picking up on as you observe your breath? And as we had spoke earlier about separating ourselves from the ego and the id and the, the self in this way, uh, another little quick thought experiment for you here, just to kind of bring the point home, is right now as you're sitting quietly, the next thought that you're going to have, predict it. It's very difficult to do. So as you see, as you feel, as you hear, and then as you experience the thoughts that come into your head, feelings that might be associated to those thoughts, this practice allows us to separate ourselves from the being of the thought to becoming the observer of the thoughts and of the sensations. And as we continue to get better and hone this skill of attention and focus and training our brains, it really creates so many powerful options for us to disassociate, to literally be able to let the ego go of I am my thoughts. Because you're not. Thoughts come and go. Mindfulness training is about observing thoughts that come and go without judgment, without attachment, without ownership, simply letting it be what it is. Thank you for your practice. Great job. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, day 16, for Mindfulness Towards Successful Living.